It's 11 minutes past uh, 10 o'clock and on the line I'm joined by Julius Silomalema, leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters. Julius, thanks very much for joining us here on Talk at Nine. Sure, sure, Papa. Emi you must apologize. You dropped us twice before. Apologize. Apologize for what, Papa? For not coming twice before to come and talk to us here. On... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 my brother. My apologies, man. Yeah, Ap- they... ap- apologies accepted. My apologies. That's why today I made sure that uh, I come through. Eh? I really appreciate that, my brother. Listen, I have received SMSs here that say to me that I don't like you and I don't like the EFF. Uh, and some people say that I like you and I don't. I, I like the EFF. Do you want to be liked, Julius Malema? Well, I think your position is uh, to get as many information as possible from us, the newsmakers, so we can share that information with the people. So it's not about either liking or disliking us. We are more of uh, sharing information with our people through you guys. So, so, so you've been making a lot of news, and uh, that's why we've invited you this evening to come and share the information with us. The ANC has uh, been very, very aggravated by your actions in the last few, uh, I suppose, few weeks. And uh, the security cluster has now weighed in on the discussion. What are your impressions of the situation? The security cluster has got no role to play at all. I think uh, they saw this as an opportunity for them to appear on TV and their voices to be heard on radio and their pictures appearing in the newspapers, and they said, look, we can't be left out. We must also parade ourselves. So they've got no role to play at all. We are there to debate in Parliament. Absolute freedom of speech, absolute freedom of expression, unlimited. Police can't even arrest you for assaulting a person in the chambers. So where's, why would police arrest you for protesting in the chambers? Police came there and said, look, we have no role to play here. These people are at their workplace, and they they are demonstrating, and this thing is allowed. They are not uh, damaging any property. They are not threatening any life. So really, the security class, I think uh, uh, Nosifiwe just likes uh, being a drama queen. And the ANC is running out of breath. They have got no, you know, matured political response to the situation. Why? Because the ANC in the past 20 years has never experienced an opposition. And therefore, they do not know how to handle an opposition. Let me tell you, Papa, if the opportunity presents itself, we'll repeat what we've done on Thursday. We don't regret it. Well, the, the, the uh, Speaker of Parliament, uh, Madam uh, Balegambete, has asked you guys, the members of Parliament of the EFF, to tell her in writing why you should be allowed back or not be suspended from uh, participating in Parliament. Are you going to write the letter? Are you going to apologize for your actions? Well, Floyd said we should write a letter explaining to her if she approaches us with that type of approach. If it was me, I wouldn't even do that, uh, including making our submission to that so-called uh, uh, committee of uh, members' interests and privileges. That thing is just a disciplinary committee of the ANC, and you know how those ANC people operate. They are vindictive. They do not listen to the facts and all those type of things. If she wants to suspend us, she must do that. And then when we come back, we repeat the same thing and she suspends us again. Uh, we'll have to get uh, enough support from other members of parliament who will have to uh, abandon that parliament if that's how it's going to treat an opposition. And uh, they should know that if that parliament gets abandoned by a sufficient number of uh, people, members of parliament, then it will have to collapse and we'll have to go back to the elections. O double one eight eight three oh seven oh two oh two one double four six oh five six seven. My guest is Julius Saloma Lema, the leader of the EFF. And uh, we want to take your calls. You can ask Julius whatever it is that you want to ask him. But Julius, let me get into the nub of the situation. Part of the reason why you are seen as a contradictory figure in South African politics is because part of your growth in politics comes from the ANC. 
you seem to be the most vociferous leader in opposition politics against the ANC. And some people look at that and say, this guy cannot be trusted. He seems to go wherever the flow of populism seems to be driving. What do you say to that comment? I don't know that because uh, I was in the ANC. The issues I'm raising now, I raised them in the ANC. I got expelled for that. And uh, I'm continuing with the same uh, politics. I have not changed anything except that I'm raising these issues now sitting on the opposition benches of the ANC. It was not of my own making. I didn't jump ship. I was expelled. So those who are raising those things, what did they expect from me? They expected me to go to Sishiu, Zone 1, Masagane, and Corner Store to sell loose cigarettes. I was not going to do that. I'm born a politician, I'll die a politician. Do you consider yourself a politician or do you consider yourself a revolutionary? And is there a difference between the two? Well, uh, you can't be a revolutionary if you're not a political activist. You have to uh, accept that your life is a political life and therefore you're going to pursue a revolutionary agenda to change the lives of the people. All right, let's take a call quickly from Mukoni as I speak to Julius Malema. Mukoni, hi. Hello, how are you? Very good, thanks. Go ahead. My please. Uh, He's uh, listening to you. Talk to my leader there. He's listening wow. to you, Mukoni. Go ahead. Eh, Tobela Papa. Manchi do holo. Eh, Mukoni. Eh. Eh, man, kere ai tabele pele man. Let's let let. Let's ask the question quickly, Mukoni. Lots of calls, eh? Hello, hello. We've got lots of calls, so we really okay, I need. Like to, yeah. Uh, I would like to congratulate uh, my leader. There. Let them continue. They mustn't write that letter. Oh, you don't want them to write the letter to Balega no, Mumet? not write that letter. That thing is an ANC, ANC disciplinary in that thing. All right, Mukoni in Pretoria. Julius, you said a very interesting thing to me when you answered that question. You said that uh, Floyd says that we must write that letter, albeit perhaps to say that uh, we don't agree with the whole story. What is the leadership of the Economic Freedom Front looking like? Who makes the decisions what is the process of deciding what uh, mode of action you're going to take precisely in this situation? Why did you say to me that Floyd says this, but you say something else? No, no, I'm talking to you. I'm sitting with Floyd here. So just before your interview, we had a discussion. Floyd is a chief whip. I'm a party leader. So we're having, we normally talk about our work. That's what colleagues do. We can't talk about uh, any other thing except what we, we do on daily basis. So... Uh, if the letter comes to us, it will have to go to a war council of the EFF, which meets every Monday, and uh, it will have to uh, take a, a decision. That's why I'm saying Floyd says this, and I'm saying this because yeah, but it, it, so, it, so, it sounds Julius, it sounds as formally, and yeah. uh, there is no formal decision about it. We are just reacting to what we hear on the corridors. Okay, but it sounds Julius like it is a two-man show then between Julius and Floyd. What is the no, risk? No, yeah? I said to you, there's going to be, a, a, once a letter gets written, yeah. you take that letter to the war council. It can be a two-man show uh, purpose because you know there is Dalimpov there, there is Andilem Kitama there, there is uh, Mbuisen in Lozi, there is Magdalene Munsami, there is Mpora Makasa, very independent individuals who are robust and very articulate. So they cannot be manipulated. I mean, we can't manipulate people like Dalimpov. Uh, he's a member of the World Council. So for you to want to reduce my discussion with Floyd, a very informal discussion with Floyd as being a two-man show, is disingenuous. 